Gemini, welcome back if you're returning to Shacy Tarot here with me. And for those of you brand new, welcome to my channel. Thank you so for supporting Shacy Tarot. It really means the world to my girls and I. And the sage I've got to show you because it's really been smoldering for you. So things are heating up here for sure. It's going strong. So let's see what's going on. This is definitely for those of you that are wondering what's going on between you and your love interest if you're at a distance from one another either physically or emotionally or both but this can also pick up if you're single and if you're flourishing on your own okay if you have a significant other or family members are close to you uh, any way shape or form affecting your energy I'm going to pick it up here okay and I'm gonna do the mutual energies between you and your love interest but again I could be picking up somebody close to you it could be a family member it could be a sister a brother whomever so remember it is a general reading so take what resonates leave what doesn't and and however it fits into your life and what's going on okay each one of you are going to be different if I say he it might be she okay it's not gender specific I always try to turn it around for every situation, but um, you know, when you're looking at a lot of cards and all of you are different, I'm trying to pick up just the energies I'm seeing. I will call out the signs if I see them, but mostly if I definitely feel one sign more than the other, I will let you know. For Gemini, please, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, please, Spirits, what do you have for Gemini? There is a special going on right now till December 22nd only. So if you want to take advantage of that, it's almost half off. It's 40% off readings, the healing genuine stone bracelets that I custom make, and the Shacy Prism Tarot cards. You can check that in the description box if you are interested. I'm still doing the bracelet stone giveaway, and it's completely free to you, okay? It's my way... They're just dropping out. I cannot explain it. These cards are from the 1960s. Okay, so for those of you that haven't seen me use these or been to my channel, these are almost 60 years old. And the energy that flies off them to me is almost scary. I mean, in a good way. But it's just like, holy cow. Like, they're just flying out here. So I'm going to take them. That's twice that's happened now. So you have the High Priestess. Okay. That is a major arcana. Wow, another one. The Moon card. The Ten of Pentacles. Oh my goodness. And you have the Nine of Wands. I want to say these energies can go vice versa or crisscross or intertwine into each other. Okay, I could. I, I mostly pick up your love interest if you have one, but if you don't, this could be all you. So again, take it how it resonates for you. So if I say this is yours, this is theirs, it could be vice versa. It could be just all yours or all theirs. Okay, so just remember that. Okay. Things can happen months from now. Things may be currently occurring in your life. If this resonates for you, for those of you that are returning to Shay C, you already know. I do a continuation of this reading on Vimeo. It's a lot less expensive than a personal reading. But if this resonates for you, that may be all you want to kind of check out farther. So... That'll be in the description box as well as available in the comment section. I want to hear from all of you. I want to know what's going on. I love reading your stories and I love it even more when you talk to one another. I just saw 333. Ooh, that's a good omen right there. Yes, it is. Okay, these want to drop out for you as well. You could be dealing with an emperor. I will get into it. Trust me, in about two seconds, I will get into it. Okay, maybe five seconds. <laughs> Seven of Wands. Queen of Wands. Okay. All right. Let's go. All right. So what I'm seeing here right off the bat, <laughs> the High Priestess, the Moon card, the Ten of Pentacles, and the Nine of Wands. I'm seeing here that there's a lot of things going on that are just kind of hidden right now. They're not known. Either they're being kept from you and you're being blocked in a family long-term situation uh, could be a marriage, could be a family, um, siblings, children. This is about either being blocked and not knowing what's going on in a family situation, in a marriage, commitment, or you're guarding yourself, protecting yourself, feeling the need to protect yourself in a family or marriage situation, kind of keeping things under wraps, okay? I have here Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, Pisces, and Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. 
Over here, I have the emperor. This is someone who's a fatherly type of figure. So this could be somebody in your family. This could be your father, but this could also be your love interest, your husband, your ex, you know, your soon-to-be ex, whatever the case may be. Like I said, all of you are going to be different. Somebody here is feeling the need. You may be guarding against each other in a marriage or a commitment here. Having to stand strong. Maybe there's different people in your family going through um, difficulties, differences of opinions, fighting over it, perhaps, struggling, needing the, the you know, just kind of needing to protect yourself and guard yourself. Could involve definitely a fire sign here Aries Sagittarius Leo there's a lot of fire energy going on here but then we can also take on the fire energy when we are fired up right you're going through struggle you're going through chaos you're you're having to block or protect or defend yourself stand strong here against perhaps family members a husband an ex-husband a significant other a family member whoever it is there are things here that are unknown and uh, maybe somebody's got their guard up protecting a secret or just not discussing things keeping things hidden and somebody's you know fighting over it could be a fire sign here with an earth sign we're going to keep going here let me know what's going on gemini oh if you want to get in on the bracelet stone giveaway i forgot to mention here because i'm just so used to everybody knowing by now but there are new people so i need to explain again um I, I custom make all of these. They're anywhere from six inches to seven and three quarters. If you win, there's three winners announced every single month. Again, absolutely free. I ship it to you. I pay all the costs of the shipping. It's just my way of saying thank you. Thank you for continuing to support Shacey Tarot and my girls. It really means a world to us. This particular charm here is mermaid kisses and starfish wishes. Can you see that? And it has citrine on there, amethyst, different shades of tourmaline, it has um, smoky quartz, rose quartz. It has obsidian, tigers. I, I could go on and on. I hand selected each one of these because I wanted us all to have the most beneficial healing stones available on one bracelet. So you get to choose your charm and your size if you win. So, it, you know, it's... Um, uh, I have let your spirit soar here. I have the I am enough as well. Okay, so those are just some of the charms you can choose. You can go to shacy.com and check them out. I don't have every single charm on the website yet. I just haven't had a chance. There's also the lucky cat. Okay, isn't he cute? <laughs> I love him. Or her, whatever. Again, not gender specific, but the point is, is that you have a chance to win. If you don't win this month, my girls and I put the, the names in again for the following month. So you still have a chance to win the following month if you don't win this month, okay? All you have to do is hit the thumbs up button, subscribe, which is absolutely free, and um, like the Facebook page or leave a comment on there, recommendation, whatever you feel comfortable with. And if you prefer Instagram, that's fine too. It's just that I'm more on Facebook than anywhere. Okay, let's check out this High Priestess card. Why is the High Priestess card here? Ah, Ten of Cups. Okay, so there may be definitely um, secrets here or things hidden or not known within a marriage or commitment to family situation here. That's kind of what I'm getting right now. It can be just within your family situation. It can even be children, but let's keep going here. I am seeing an emperor and fire energy here. So this can be a father. This can be a mother, but this can also be just the fatherly figure here. The emperor being fired up and feeling the need to kind of guard himself or herself here. Whoa, okay, they're dropping out like flies here, Gemini. Let's see. Could involve, there you go, it could involve a Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo. We have the Six of Cups here. This is about a soulmate, but this can also mean that it involves children, okay? This can be someone from the past. Let's clarify that Six of Cups here, please. Why is the Six of Cups here? Clarify the Six of Cups. What's that about for Gemini, please? Okay, so whatever has been difficult we have got three tens here look at this gemini i want you to look at this this is three tens this is a family situation it's been very difficult it's been a struggle and someone is blocking somebody 
and protecting themselves. So it could be you blocking yourself in a family situation or your love interest, okay? I feel like this is the end of a commitment here because 10 of pentacles is, and the 10 of cups is about having it all, but 10 of wands is about this has been a very difficult, difficult trying time. Whatever has been involved in this commitment has been overwhelming responsibilities on a person here. And it can be a Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, a Pisces. I also have Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries here. Taurus here. Let's go on the other side here and clarify the Emperor. Clarify the Emperor here, please. Can you clarify the Emperor here, please, for Gemini? Why is the Emperor here? Who is the Emperor? Whoa, okay then. That's a lot of cards. I'm going to take out the first one that fell out. If the other ones are going to come out, they will come out again. If they're Oh, wow. Look at this. What was I saying? This is definitely the end of a difficult cycle. We have four tens here. We have ten of cups, ten of wands, ten of pentacles, and the ten of swords. There is a fatherly type of figure, maybe the fatherhead of, of a family. Okay, or mother, again, it's not gender specific, is dealing with a lot of pain right now. This is, and it, and it can go both ways, of course, but this is a painful ending to a um, commitment here. It's been a really difficult time here. That is a lot of wands. We are at complete completion here. I don't think I've ever had that in a reading. This is completion. Ten of swords, ten of wands, ten of cups, and ten of pentacles. This is the end of a long-term commitment I'm feeling between a mother and a father of a family. But we've got three people here. We've got the Emperor, Queen of Wands, and the Queen of Pentacles here. Could involve children with the Six of Cups. Again, family situation, so definitely could involve children. There's been some things that are hidden or secrets going on within a marriage or commitment. There's been struggles. There's been uh, the need to block and defend one another or each other or themselves here, you or them. Most definitely here. Yeah. Somebody's become single. Somebody has recently become single. This is about being single, being abundant on your own. Going from a 10, a committed family situation to being single here. So somebody is guarding themselves now and protecting themselves and standing strong. Uh, you know, defending. I think that they want to become single Maybe there was secrets here, either between you and your committed partner, husband, wife, relationship, long-term, however you want to slice it. Let's get the mutual energies between the two of you and see what's going on here. Okay. What does Gemini need to know, please? What are the mutual feelings or how are they mirroring one another? Gemini and their love interest, please. Gemini and their love interest, please. Clarify, please, what's going on between Gemini and their love interest mutually. How are they feeling? How are they mirroring one another, please, spirits, for Gemini? Wow. Ouch. What was I saying? Yeah, there's been some secrets going on here, I feel, within a commitment, possible marriage here. Whatever the case is, this is what I'm picking up. There are definitely... You know, this is also about trusting your intuition, about not knowing everything in a situation. There may have been dishonesty of some sort here going on, I'm feeling. And it's, um, but here's the thing. I mean, I, I, when you get tens, there's four tens here. This was meant to end. It took a long time. There was a very unhealthy relationship here. When you allow a commitment, marriage, long-term relationship to get to 10 swords, that means that this has taken a long time. This has already gone on for too long. It became unhealthy situation. And so it, it had to end. There was no way to go. There was no other way to go. But let's find out. Who is this Queen of Wands? Who is this Queen of Wands here, please, for Gemini? Who is this? Okay. Okay, so yeah, it could be definitely a Taurus with fire in his chart, he or she, or it could be um, fire with earth in the chart, whichever way you want to slice it. This is about stability. This is about 
being passionate, driven, and this emperor is somebody who takes control of a situation. So this emperor, okay, has other opportunities and options. They're looking at all their options. They're looking at all their opportunities. They wanted to become single. So I feel they ended a long-term commitment here. And if it wasn't them, it was you or vice versa. Again, you're all going to be different. But this is about taking charge of a situation as the emperor. I feel when I clarified, the king of pentacles came out. So I feel this is all the same person. They're taking charge of their life. They know they have other options or opportunities. And that's not necessarily other people. There's things in these cups. It could be a new job. They want to do new things. They want to discover new things. They're not happy where they were. So they ended it. Or something ended or you ended it. Either way, this is about becoming single and abundant and self-sufficient. Wanting to be single. They, they haven't been happy where they are. There was too much dishonesty. Again, you, them, to the point of where you are blocking one another and um, wanting to become single here. Okay. Clarify, please, the King of Pentacles. Clarify the King of Pentacles. What is this King of Pentacles doing, please? What are their intentions, please, for Gemini? The King of Pentacles. What is their intention, please, here? Yeah, they have a lot of anxiety over it here, though. This is about freedom. You know, they, they, they may be free now, okay? They don't have as much pain as they did going from the 10 to the 9, but they have a lot of fear about perhaps being single now and moving on toward freedom. But this can also be about, you know, um, celebration, um, going toward their twin flame or reuniting with somebody here because there is somebody quite possibly from their past or your past that they're thinking about here. That could be what was hidden here with the moon and the high priestess here, but we're going to dig deeper. Now again, in the extended, I'm going to dig a lot deeper using other cards as well. I'm going to use the oracle and I'm also going to use my enchanted tarot these i've had for 30 years okay so we're going to definitely clarify using that i'm going to use also the angel tarot as well these are so awesome too we're going to do a pick a card with the romance angels i'm going to do three cards and you're going to pick you know all three is going is geared towards your energy but the first card you pick is going to be the strongest second your second and third your third okay you're meant to hear all the messages and then of course I'm definitely going to get any guidance messages from the universe that the universe feels you need to hear so let's see what the mutual feelings are again here between Gemini and their love interest what do they need to hear please for their highest good what does Gemini need to hear for their highest good between them and their love interest how are they mutually mirroring one another please what does Gemini need to know for their highest good please spirit what does Gemini need to know please what does Gemini need to know Hey, wow, three jumping out. Fertility, birth. So this is a brand new beginning. Fertility, birth. You know, this is a birth of a new idea, a new project. I'm feeling in this case, all kinds of new opportunities. Somebody has a new beginning here. They're single, abundant, or becoming if they haven't yet. They want to move forward toward their future. They have a lot of fears about it. So is that you or your love interest moving toward one another? You, you may possibly be reuniting with this person. They're thinking about you. It may have involved children, a marriage that, that uh, was coming to an end. There was too much dishonesty in the marriage. I feel long before you came along or vice versa. However it resonates for you. Okay, it could be them. But they have all these new opportunities that they're looking forward to. And this was a very painful difficult time for them and for you and it's kept them up at night or you worrying about it worrying about this new future and all the new opportunities i feel that they're you know they're driven or if, again this is you they're excited about it but at the same time there's a lot of fear about this new beginning like what's it going to look like what's it going to happen how is it going to turn out somebody is all in their head worrying about all these different things that they've got to figure out now that they're single or becoming single here yeah, what was I saying? Okay. There's a lot of challenges here. Okay. They were met with different opinions. Probably family members here with the Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Cups here. This is a family situation. And they had opposing opinions, competition, and challenges from family members, friends, exes, 
children, whatever the case may be here. Ah, the high priestess again, highly intuitive, entrusting your intuition. I feel you and your person, either your ex or soon to be ex, future person, you're all needing to trust your intuition here, I'm feeling, okay? So this is definitely... Um, this is definitely moving forward here from what I can tell, but uh, there's no actual action here yet. So what we're going to do in the extended, we definitely need to clarify, you know, where are we going with this six of cups? Is this a soulmate or was this children involved here? What were these secrets about here or hidden things that are not known? The challenges, what are the challenges ahead? And is this reunion, reconciliation, a holiday or freedom? Okay, what do we have a lot of fears about? Let's see where we're going with that. And what kind? what's this new beginning going to look like? Okay, so we'll definitely clarify and extend it. If this is where you leave me, I thank you so much for being here. And for those of you meeting me for the continuation on Vimeo, I will pin it down below in the comments. And it's also going to be in the description box. I will see you there in a moment. I wish you beautiful blessings. I hope you've had an amazing beginning to your December. Namaste.